The Excel file and the PowerPoint slides used for this lecture are available on my homepage under the CSC 2111 link, and they're also available on Carmen and Canvas, which is the learning management system used by OSU. Please follow along with the PowerPoint slides as I talk about each subject. In this spreadsheet, we have a list of students, the college they attend, and the GPA of their freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. In cell C8, we want to write a formula that counts the number of freshmen with a 4.0 GPA. Our range is C4 to C7. Our criteria is numeric, so I just type in the number. And I have one freshman. All right, I want to copy this over to see if my formula works correctly. If you look here, D4 to D7, that's what I want, and of course the number 4. So we know we don't need any dollar signs. So I'm going to go back over here, I'm just going to copy it. And now we have the number of freshmen with a GPA of 4.0, sophomores with a GPA of 4.0, juniors with a GPA of 4.0, and seniors with a GPA of 4.0. Write a formula in cell C9 to determine the number of freshmen on the Dean's List. The GPA for the Dean's List is in cell B1. Equals count if we have the range for the freshmen. This time our criteria is a relational operator along with the cell reference, so we have to put the relational operator in quotes. We have to put an ampersand in front of the cell reference. And then we have the cell reference here. We hit the Enter key. And there is our answer. We have three freshmen that are on the Dean's List. When I copy this over, one, I notice that the formula changes to D4 to D7 and it changes to C1. I need the cell reference 3.0 to stay the same, so I need to uh, anchor that B. So I'm going to go back to the regular one. I'm just going to double click here. I put a dollar sign in front of the B because I don't want it to change. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to copy it over. I'm going to check my formula. B1, E4 to E7, B1, etc. Write a formula in cell C10 to determine the number of freshmen with a 3.0. Equals count if range C4 to C7. This time I have the 3.0 in cell B1, uh, and all I need to do is type that cell in, or I'm going to click on it. There's my answer. Now before I copy this over, I know that I need to anchor that B. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put the dollar sign in. and I'm going to copy the formula over. Write a formula in cell C11 to determine the number of freshmen with GPAs less than 2.5. Equals count if our range this time we're using a relational operator with a hard-coded value, so we have to put quotes around the whole thing. I'm 
I don't need to anchor any cells, so I can just copy this over. And there's my answer. Write a formula in cell B13 to count the number of business majors. Let's count if our range is B4 to B7. We are hard coding a non numeric value, so we have to put quotes around it. We are not copying this anywhere, so we don't have to worry about dollar signs. Write a formula in cell E15 to determine the number of freshmen with a GPA of 4.0 or 3.0. Our range, C4 to C7, and we're looking for the value 4.0 and that value returns a 1 but I also want the students that have a 4.0 so I'm going to need a plus here the same range and this time I'm going to put in a 3 for the criteria now we have the answer. There are two freshmen with a GPA of 4.0 or a GPA of 3.0. Write a formula in cell E14 to determine the number of students whose last name begins with A. We're going to use the COUNTIF function again. Our range, A4 to A7, comma, because we want to find everyone whose last name starts with an A, we're going to have to use a wild card. And we have two students whose last name begins with A.